Hello, fifth grade students. We're back again with our English book, uh, Eyes Open number four, Presentation Plus. So we're going to start a new unit. We're going to start with Fable Food. No, we're to, uh, our topic is food. No, so here I'm going to maximize this book. So here we have our vocabulary. So about cooking verbs, word in context, adjective, describing food, prepositional phrases. What about language focus? First conditional with if, when, and unless. Second conditional with could and my. No? Unit items. Our objective for this unit. I can talk about how to prepare a simple, sorry, how to prepare simple dishes. No? We're going to talk about receipts. I can understand short online text and an online article about different foods. I can discuss possible and imaginary situations in the present and future. I can understand a game show uh, where people describe food. I can give instructions on how to make a, a dish and I can describe a local dish. So the idea for this activity is cooking okay so if we have the opportunity we can maybe cook something through our virtual classes no it's a possibility now let's see first of all fabulous food is our title so what can you see in this picture in this beautiful picture huh what can you see in the photo? Start talking. Broccoli. Perfect. Vegetables. Okay. Could be carrots. Okay. What does the picture show? And what is made of? What does the picture show? Could be a, a dish. Yes, it's a possibility. A dessert. Yeah. Would you like to eat it? Uh, would you like to eat? this dish some people could say yes other people say no maybe they, they don't like broccoli i love broccoli okay it's good for your health uh, have you ever made any food art just it's not cooking no it's like to prepare something like like an art it's like when you when you see shows on tv about cooking have you ever seen Buddy, Buddy Balastro with uh, the cake boss? No? He prepares beautiful cakes. No? And try to do his best. It's like, it's that idea, idea, okay? Now let's see. We're going to start with this part. It's page 41. It says vocabulary cooking verbs. So, in this part, we have a box with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words. Those words are verbs, but they are very special because they are cooking verbs. Verbs that you use in your kitchen when you're preparing something. For example, roast, mix, chop, no chop, chop, slice, bake, boil, grill, fry, grate, or spread. So, and here we have some pictures A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So, what's the idea? The idea is to match the verb in the box with the photo of A to J. Now, let's see. Now, here I have the audio. You want to listen? A. Boil. B. Fry. C. Grill. D. Roast. E. Grate. F. Chop. G. Slice. H. Mix. I. Bake. J. Spread. Okay, so this is our vocabulary cooking verbs. 
the idea is to match the pictures with the verb. For example, in number one, what's the idea? I can see some water on the fire. Yes, that is boiling. Okay, boil. This is here. Boil. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my mouse is is uh, is not good, so I using the, the the pad, not the laptop pad. Now number two, I can see some onions in a bowl. Could be, could be, uh, roast, mix, chop, slice, bake, grill, fry, grate, spread. You don't remember? Okay, no problem. Let's listen once again. A. Boil. No, boil. B. Fry. Aha, uh -huh. what is letter B? Fry. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Let's say this is fry. And you put it in that part. Fry. Let's see. C. Grill. Grill. No, grill. What is grill? This is grill. Uh huh. Let's continue. Grill. One more. Okay. D. Roast. 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 No, this one is here. Now let's see if your answers are right. Okay, let's see if your answers are right until the moment. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, the answers are right. I have one, two, three, and four good answers. And there are five that are not good because you didn't complete. Okay, what's your activity? So you listen at the beginning, the audio. So what do you have to do is easy. You can listen once again and you can complete on your book. For example, what is this one? And this, no? Here is some bread. What the cooking bird? Here the boy or girl, I don't know exactly. It's preparing a cake. So what's doing here? No, and also that boy or girl are making cookies. So what's the action? What a bear for making cookies? And there is one more, no? At the, at the, at the end. Okay, class. So mix, chop, slice, bake, grate, and spread. Are the bears that you are or you need to complete to do the activity, okay? Also remember, we're going to complete this activity in our classes, so no problem. You need to complete now. Complete. There's no problem. Okay, now listen. Let's continue with the activity number two. In this, in the first part, you see cooking verbs, no? In the second part, you are going to see ingredients, like eggs, bread, cake, cheese, pasta, chicken, steak onion, garlic, tomatoes, sauce, and butter. No? So what's the idea? Match the food in the box with the verbs in exercise one to make instructions. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, it's a lot. Look. Okay, for example, let's do the first one. If I say boil, I can boil eggs. Yes. I can fry eggs, yes, I can grill eggs, grill, don't remember what's grill, gratinar, yes or no, okay, roast, it's like hornear, when you say roast chicken, pollito a la brasa, could be, no, great, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I was making a mistake. Grill is gratinar. Sorry, great is gratinar. And grill, what is grill, remember? Aha, uh -huh, this is for you, okay? Shop X. I don't think so. Slice. Could be a possibility when I prepare, for example, my papala huancaina is, I use a slice of X. That's my opinion, eh? Could be a possibility. Okay. Mix X. When I prepare tortillas, could be a possibility. Yes. I bake X. Bake. Mm. Spread.
spread. Okay, now let's see if those are if those answers are correct. Only for X. Let's see, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, slide X, no. Mix X, no. Only boil and fry. So it's according to the book, okay? For example, slice is like a uh, rebanada, okay? And mix, mezclar. But the book says no, okay? But it doesn't mean that you are not going to mix X, no? Uh, you use uh, two X, for example, you add salt, pepper, uh, and you fry and you prepare a delicious tortilla, no? Okay. In our classes, we are going to discuss about those activities, no, about those uh, ingredients, bread, cake, cheese, pasta, chicken, steak. What is a steak? It's like a uh, bistec, no, like that. Onion, garlic, tomato, sauce, butter. Let's see. What about bread? You boil bread? No. You fry bread? No. You grill bread? No. Rose, grate, chop. Slice, yes, a slice. Now let's see. You can slice bread, you can bake bread. It's a possibility, no? Okay, remember this uh, activity we're going to finish in our classes is going to be a discussion for you, boys and girls. So there's no problem. Think about it, okay? You must think about it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue with number three. In number three, we're going to use that number one and number two activity. Okay, number one and number two, the ingredients. It says, listen to someone explaining how to make a dish. No. Copy and complete the table below. Would you like to try it? Why or why not? Okay, the first activity is to listen to the audio and complete the activity. For example, here's says ingredients and here says cooking verbs. So what you listen about the ingredients and the cooking verbs? You are going to listen the audio so you can be ready for the class, okay? CD1, track 39. Listen to someone explaining how to make a dish. First, slice some bread and grill it on one side. Then grate some cheese. Add salt, pepper, and an egg. Mix all the ingredients together. Spread the mixture on the toast. Slice a tomato in very thin slices. Add the slices on top of the cheese and egg. Put it all back under the grill and grill for two or three minutes until the cheese starts to turn brown. Eat while it's still warm. Okay, class. No, you listen to the audio and what do you have to do? Simple. You need to, to write all the ingredients you listen and all the cooking verbs you listen. Okay? Perfect. So we're going to see it in our classes. Remember, we're going to just to give that some tips, no? give some tips to this activity and you complete this in our classes. So let's talk your term. Ask and answer why, uh, with your parents. Do you ever do any cooking? What can you cook? What was the last thing you cooked? No? For example, if I ask, if you ask me to me, do you ever do any cooking? I say, yes, I do. That's my answer. Yes, I do. What can you cook? Well, I can cook many things like, for example, lomo saltado, arroz con pollo, it could be a de gallina, I don't know, many things. What was the last thing you cook? The last thing I cook. Bistec a lo pobre. I remember that. Okay, so those answers are mine. What about your answer? What about your examples? Okay, so think about it. Number five, choose a simple receipt. You know, explain how to cook it to your partner. 
So the idea here is to do something like number three, no? I can make a cheese on toast. First, you grate some cheese. For example, I can make um, an egg sandwich. No, an egg sandwich. First, you uh, fry an egg, add some salt, you cut your bread, you put your egg, and that's it. Your egg sandwich. No, give instructions. No, start with first. After that, ordain, and at least you use finally. No, finally you can enjoy your egg sandwich. No, mister, I can cook uh, coffee with milk. Okay, show me. First, you pour some milk or some hot water first, then add some coffee, some sugar, and finally pour some milk. You uh, move and you can drink it. Enjoy it. Okay? That is a simple recipe. So, and that is the idea of this class. No? Now, listen, we're going to continue with this activity. This activity is not only on this page, okay? Be careful. The activity says dangerous food, no? Here, it continues on the next page. It's because of that I give an extra page for you, okay? Because we need to read this part. Only that, okay? Listen, dangerous food. What's the first instruction? It says, when we're a partner, look at the photos. What kind of food can you see in each image? How dangerous do you think they could be and why? For example, look at the first picture. What is this? Pennant. You know, you don't know what's pennant? Okay, for example, pennant is like, uh, I like salty peanut. When I go to Imperial, for example, I see some in some places peanut uh, with salt or caramel. Honey. Okay. So the first one is peanut. The second one, onions. No, someone chopping some onions. In the next one, what is this? Fugu. This is fugu. Okay. And what is fugu? Okay, we will see later. Okay. And the last one, garlic. Okay. But look at, let's see the question. No? We, we check the pictures. Okay. That is good. It says dangerous food. So, what kind of food can you see in it? Image? Okay. How dangerous do you think they uh, could be? For example, if I say peanut. Is peanut dangerous? Onions are dangerous? Fugu and garlic is dangerous? Yes or no? It depends. Okay, in my opinion, as a, as a teacher, I can say peanut. There are some people that have allergic to peanut. Okay, they can die. Listen. Read the web page. Order the food from the less, sorry, from the least dangerous to the most dangerous. Okay, the first activity is to read. Okay, you can listen. Okay, you can listen. Here, I have the audio. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Here is the audio. Okay. CD1, track 40. Listen to the short online texts. Dangerous foods? Everyone knows that chopping onions can make you cry. It's because onions release a toxic gas when you cut them or fry them. When the gas gets into your eyes, your body produces tears to wash it out. So, next time you chop an onion, do it under a running tap. If you cut the onion under running water, the gas won't get into your eyes. Did you know that... Okay. Listen, the first one is talking about onions. It says, when you chop 
onions or fried onions eh, can make you cry. It's because onions release a toxic gas when you cut them or fry them. When the gas gets into your eyes, your body produces tears, not tears, lágrimas, to watch it out. Have you ever chopped some onions and you cry? It's because of that, okay? There is a gas. Let's continue with number two. Peanuts are poison that get into your eyes. Did you know that peanuts are poisonous for dogs and can be very dangerous for humans too if you are allergic to them? Even the smallest piece of peanut can cause a very bad reaction. If one day you have an allergic reaction to a peanut, you will need to get to a hospital as quickly as you can. Okay, remember, peanut is not only a poisonous or dangerous for people, also for dogs, no? Did you know that peanuts are poisonous for dogs and can be very dangerous for humans? No, be careful. If you're allergic to peanut, you should go to the hospital quickly, okay? Now, let's continue. The fugu is the world's most poisonous fish, and it's also one of the most expensive. It's a delicacy in Japan, but eating the tiniest drop of the toxins in its intestines can kill you. Specially trained fugu chefs learn how to slice the fish very carefully to avoid any contamination. If you are ever in Japan and want to try fugu fish for yourself, You'll have to be very careful. You'll need to make sure you go to a restaurant that has a Fugu certified chef, unless you want it to be your last supper. Okay, listen. Fugu is the world's most poisonous fish. Poisonous means venenous. Okay? And it's also one of the most expensive. It's a delicacy in Japan. So in Japan, to eat Fugu fish is the most delicious thing okay the most delicious food in japan okay but remember it could be your last supper no but if you eat something that is a how can i say okay first of all you need to go to a japanese restaurant with a food chef with a certified no con un certificado because if someone else try to prepare fugu and this person don't do it carefully and uh, uh, the last part says could be your last supper or to ultima cena let's continue with garlic garlic has a lot of positive qualities throughout history people have believed that it has powerful medicinal uses it can also protect you from mosquito bites i always get mosquito bites in summer so, when I go on holiday this year, I'll make sure I eat lots of garlic. But don't put fresh garlic on the bites. Fresh garlic is very strong, and a slice of garlic can give you a severe burn if it is in contact with your skin. Okay, we talk about garlic. It says, garlic has a lot of positive qualities. Through, uh, throughout history, people have believed that it's a powerful medicinal use, no? It can also protect you from mosquito, from mosquito bites. But be careful, okay, when you use garlic and you put it directly to your to the bite, they can cause severe burn, quemaduras, okay? Be careful. So, let's see, we're almost finishing, okay? So, let me see. Here, I have... A, a a table says read the word page again copy and complete the table so what's the idea for this activity is you need to read the, te uh, the text and complete this information no they can make you onions they can make you when you chop them remember ah cry chop them under mm -hmm -hmm. They are poisonous for mmm, and they can cause a bad mmm in some humans. 
get to an mm as soon as you can. They can extremely mm only the food fish that has a, that has been prepared by mm a or am. Okay, it a garlic. It can give you serious mm. Don't let it get in contact with your mm. So that is an easy activity. You just read once again and complete the article. Thank you very much, class. It's been a pleasure to do this video for you. See you next class. See you Friday 16. If I hope you're okay. Greetings. Bye bye.